You only have 10 minutes and you want to have a no-bake 10 minutes easy recipe? Well, you are at the right place because in this video I will share with you my favorite Jewish New Year 10 minutes dessert. You're going to see it's so easy to make yet the result is amazing and as a mom of three young children working full-time as a healthcare practitioner, I need for recipes to be easy, fast and yet yield amazing results. Don't forget to stay until the end of the video where we share with you how to open a pomegranate the easy way. And if you like this kind of content all about simplifying the Jewish life, amazing recipes as well as adding meaning to your Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. For this recipe, you will need any kind of bakeware, whether a large one, individual one, whatever suits your need. And I will show you my version of the individual one at the end of the video. You can even save more time by using a ready to eat pie crust. The first step will be to make the crust. I'm gonna use some vanilla flavored Oreos and then I'm gonna blend it. I will simply use the crumbs, put them in a bowl and add slowly the melted margarine. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And once that it's done, I'm gonna set it aside. I will then proceed to make the base for my spring form or any bakeware. And what I'm gonna do is take some parchment paper, fold it six times, and then I'm gonna measure from the tip of the paper of the triangle to the edge. I will cut it and then I will have the perfect liner. Start spreading the crumbs at the bottom of your bakeware, then pack it more firmly. You can also do that in individual size portion, like in these glass containers. For the topping, you will need a cup of non-dairy cream cheese, a cup of non-dairy cream with a cup of sugar. You will put everything in a bowl and then mix it for about two to three minutes until it thickens. Cover your cookie crust with filling, making sure that no air pockets are formed. A good way to get rid of any bubble in this 10 minutes easy dessert recipe is to swirl and tap your bakeware on your workstation. It will make that your cheesecake is equally filled. Cut your apples thinly. If you have a mandolin, I will link the one that I'm using below. Then you're going to put the apples in a mixture of water and lemon. You're gonna put it in the microwave for about two to three minutes until they soften. If you don't have any microwave like me, then you're going to simply put your apple in a mixture of melted margarine, some sugar, and some orange juice. You will leave them there for about 10 minutes until they are softened and pliable for them to be shaped. To shape your Affelhosen, you are simply going to take a piece of apple, roll it tightly in the middle, and then add the petals by adding the apples one after the other. That will give you the best result for high rows. And to make sure that your rose does not unravel, simply put a knife against it. Then the next method is my favorite one. You're going to put about eight half slices of apples, one next to the other, and you will overlap them just a little bit and roll them on top of the other. This is so easy and it makes things so fast. Continue the process until you have covered the totality of your topping. I like to alternate between shorter and larger roses. This way it gives a dimension to our no bake 10 minutes easy cheesecake recipe. This easy dessert recipe is amazing to be served with hot caramel sauce, as well as some pomegranate, especially for Rosh Hashanah. I hope that this recipe is going to become a new staple in your family, and I will take this opportunity to thank you to be part of the From It Up family. It means the world to us, and I'm gonna take as well this opportunity to wish you Shana Tova ou Metuka, a sweet new year filled with success, with blessing, with love, a lot of laughter, and above all, a lot of health. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We do upload new content every week. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.